coaches, you have seen this formation from Army and to some extent from Navy in the last year. It's called heavy flex. And what heavy flex is, is the left receiver moves over and becomes the left tackle. He'll align three and a half feet away from the guard with his inside hand at the heels of the center. The left tackle will move next to the right tackle. He'll put his inside hand at the heels of the center, and he'll align three and a half feet away from the right tackle. The right receiver will align three and a half feet away from the heavy tackle with his outside foot up and his inside foot at 45 degrees. Nobody else changes. If they want to run the belly G out of this, the A back will move behind the heavy tackle, but that's about it. The reason why you run this is you create an A gap, a B gap, a C gap, a D gap, and an E gap now. So how does the defense adjust to this? Do they treat it as an unbalanced line? Do they simply slide over defensive backs? It creates a multitude of situations, and, and a great play to run out of it is uh, the kick play, also known as the zone power, where the B back will kick number two, and then simply the quarterback will run inside of that block with the backside A back leading through. There's so many possibilities for heavy flex because you just don't know how defenses are going to adjust to it. But I can tell you one thing. If they give you a void, run through the void. So heavy flex, definitely a great way to attack in 2019. And coaches, if you're looking to install the triple option offense the right way the first time, call me, 570-332-0265, 570-332-0265. We'll talk soon.